Okay, welcome back here. Um, it is quarter after five, and I'm going to do a quick video here for you guys, just so you can uh, catch up, catch up here on what's going on here at Old Time Garage. So we will take a quick look here, and uh, here we go. Okay. So as you can see here, we've got the little uh, 57 GMC pickup. She's all masked off. We got her all ready. We're going to shoot the uh, cab and primer this evening. Um, We've got all the bodywork done there up on the fender, up around the headlight area, that kind of stuff. I apologize again for the quality of this video. I've gotten a new camera. I've only, this is only my third video, so I completely apologize to any of my followers on YouTube. And anyone new out there, please um, give me some time to get used to this camera. But anyway, there's our 57 GMC. We've got her all masked off, like I was saying. We're getting ready here to, uh, to primer it all up. As you can see, there's the front all, all masked. Ready to go. We'll go around here to the, uh, I don't know if you can get a glimpse of that or not. There is the driver's side. So it's all good. It's going to be a late night here tonight. We've got to stay behind tonight. And like I say, we've got to get this primered. That way there we can uh, begin to uh, sand and block it out tomorrow. And then it's going to be ready for another coat of the final primer. Now our little Chevelle. You haven't seen it for a little bit. The 68 Chevelle. Well here she is. She's sitting up on the hoist. Uh, if you notice, for any of you guys who've been following along, um, we're on the driver's side here. And we have got the driver's side quarter panel pretty much finished and welded on. Uh, we actually replaced all, the, uh, replaced all the rocker panel on this side all the way along. We put a brand new rocker panel. The door is just on here for mock-up to make sure we get the right lines and gaps all the way around. Like I was saying to you, it's always a good idea to make sure you get that kind of stuff. So what I'd like to do here is, like I said, I pre-fit everything. Um, go back to some of my videos back on the Chevelle. You'll see where I'm pre-fitting everything together. I did the same thing on this side. I pre-fit everything. The door is just hanging on there right now, bolted up good and tight. It's on the striker. It, it clicks closed really nice. It works awesome that way. So I wanted to make sure the door had the right gaps before I started welding the rocker and the quarter panel on. And if you can also see, unfortunately, I can't lower it down right now. But if you can see, I've got the trunk lid. The deck lid, whatever you prefer to call it, it is up on there bolted on to make sure that I had the right gap between up and up in here, between the quarter panel and the deck lid. I wanted to make sure the gap was even up in there too. So um, I would love to lower it down for you, but I can't. As you can see right there, I've got my safety stand. There it is. The reason for that is um, if you take a look where the hoist arms are right there, there's really nowhere to put them at the back and the hoist arms don't swing out far enough. Now the car is on there good and solid. When you got a hoist, you always make sure you give it the old rocking motion to make sure it's solid before you get it off the ground. You know, you get it off the ground a couple inches, give it a good rocking motion, make sure it's solid. This car is good and solid, but safety is always an issue. And you don't want to fuck around with that kind of stuff, guys, because that's your life in your hands. It could be somebody else's life. It could cost you your shop, could cost you everything. So, you know, I, I've, I've, put, I've put the stand here just in case because the back end is a little heavier than the front because it's hanging over so much. Where the front, if we walk around here, we'll take a quick walk around. And as you can see, the front of the car is right up at the front. So there's no, there's no possible way the car is going to tip forward when the arms are right forward on it. If anything, it's going to go backwards just because of where the arms are positioned. You can see the arm is right there. It's all the way at the back. I don't need to be lecturing you guys on this kind of stuff. I'm not here to lecture you guys. This isn't what this video was about or where I'm going with it. I'm just saying that safety is an issue. And please, to all you guys out there in your garages, you know, be safe, take it easy. We, we want to keep you guys all out there. We want to keep you guys building cars because, you know, if, if it's not for you guys and guys like myself keeping these old hot rods and classics and muscle cars such as this thing on the road, we're going to be left of all this tuner shit and all these new cars. And uh, maybe I just insulted somebody there. I don't know. But that stuff doesn't interest me. Hopefully it's the old stuff that interests you. So be safe. Please be safe. That's the most important issue about things. So anyway, we're going to primer up the truck here. We're going to get this little truck primered up. Maybe I'll do a quick video here when I get this done. When it's all primered, I'll get right back to you on it. Um, that's about it. And uh, that's it. So uh, you guys stay tuned. We'll get this primered. And if it's not too late, I will get back to you. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back here at you. I let you go there around 5.30. And I had to primer Tim's little 57 GMC pickup, the cab only, of course, just the cab, what you see here. Uh, so there it is. I don't know if it looks much different. It probably, it's hard for you guys to tell on the uh, screen there because the truck was silver before. But there you go, the hood's primed. Well, the whole front, of the, I don't have to say everything that's primered. The cab is primered. 
Um, there it is, it's showing there. What time have we got here? Let's see if this thing, let's see how far this thing will zoom in. Well, it looks like we've, go. Oh, wow, really good zoom. It is seven o'clock, so we're an hour and a half later. The gun's all cleaned up, we're all primed up. Compressor shut off for the night and draining. Yeah, for all you guys out there who got a compressor, make sure you drain it every night. Don't have to tell you that. You guys are all smart guys, you know what's going on. But anyway, um, there it is, it's primer. We'll do the quick little walk around here. Oh, let's get through here. There we go. So there's the, uh, there's the passenger side. It's all primed up, looking good. It's looking, looking really good, so. And there we go, there's the back of the cab. Got that. Now we haven't touched the box yet. As you can see, the box is uh, still is wrapped up in plastic. Um, we just left the box alone at the moment. We're going to be working on it later, but we got the cab. Right now, we just focus on one thing at a time. We don't want to jump all over the place. It's better. It's better to stay focused on on certain things rather than jumping around. Just I find that anyway. Uh, you start getting too carried away jumping around on stuff like that, and uh, maybe you lose track of what's going on. Especially if you've got a few cars on the go. So there it is. If you're out there, Tim, and you're watching, your 57 is primered now. That's finished off in 80 grit uh, and then primered with a filler primer. Next, we will block it and we'll finish it off. When we finish blocking it, we'll finish it in 180, 180 grit. Uh, and then from that, then we will reprime it again and then we'll drop it down to, uh, we'll finish it with a 220, a 320, and then usually finish it off with a 400. Sometimes dependable, I mean it depends sometimes, maybe we'll finish it in 500, but there we go, then it'll be ready for paint. So there's the first major filler primer done, and that's it. So anyway, okay, so all you guys out there, that's it, stay tuned. We'll keep you in touch. We'll let you know what's going on with Tim's. We'll keep you in touch with what's going on at the little Chevelle here. And uh, there's lots of projects on the go. So, um, yeah, we'll let you know what else is going on. Actually, we just had a guy drop off. Let's walk into our little lunch room here. That's another reason it took a while here. We got a guy dropped off a, uh, if you can see that. He's dropped off a, uh, a fender off a, uh, well, a Honda Goldwing. There it is right there. See that? Honda Goldwing. So, um, I don't know. I guess he's got some... Got some issues, the paint's peeling here, and it's got some chips here and stuff like that. Uh, you know, stuff going on here. Just wants to basically take care of it. I guess apparently he's got a collector plate on this bike. And you know, you got a collector plate, you got to keep the uh, vehicle or bike or whatever you have the collector plate on up to standard. So he wants us to repaint the fender for him, do it the same color, the two tone, put the striping on it. And uh, you know, here at Old Time Garage, we do it all, we take it all on. It's uh, that's what we're here for. We're here for all you working guys, we're here for the blue collar working class people. If you rich guys want to come along and you don't mind a guy that swears and full of tattoos and all that kind of shit, well, hey, I'm here. I'll help you out. And uh, that's it. It's one of the uh, one of the far and few between shops that will just do it all. We do it from beginning to end. So anyway, okay, you guys, you have a good night. We're going to take off, and we'll see you later.